Welcome, wonderful souls. I'm Margo from QuantumButterfly.me. I am Quantum Soul Guidance and Galactic Astrology Practitioner. And today we are diving into a potent cosmic event, the June Solstice, a time of significant transformation and growth. The Solstice marks the moment when the Sun reaches its highest point in the sky bringing with it a potent energy of renewal and enlightenment. Each year, at the time of the solstice, the Sun will travel through the Orion constellation. As the Sun enters Cancer this year on June 20th, it is still in a tight conjunction with the Betelgeuse star, which adds its frequency to the mix. Therefore, in this video, we will explore the profound influence of the June Solstice, guided by the wisdom of the Orion Galactic Heritage Cards by Lissoreal Hold, specifically focusing on the present timeline cards. These cards provide deep insights and guidance, helping us to understand the cosmic energies at play and how they affect each of us. The main themes we'll explore include fusion and magic, healing crisis and purging, leap of faith, and seduction and addiction. Also, we'll be looking at what house the solstice activates for each ascendant sign and how it impacts various life areas with a layer of guidance from the Orion cards. If any of this resonates with you, I invite you to join me as we explore the impact of the June Solstice and how it can manifest for each zodiac sign. But first, a short overview of the planetary alignments. This solstice marks a pivotal moment in the celestial calendar, ushering in a season of nurturing energy, emotional depth and the transformative potential. As the Sun enters Cancer, the focus shifts to themes of home, family and emotional fulfillment. This period is all about connecting with our innermost feelings, fostering meaningful relationships and creating a secure foundation in our lives. As you can see on the chart next to me, there is a lot going on in the sky, however I would like to focus on fewer alignments. The Sun entry into Cancer on June 20th brings an emphasis on nurturing, empathy and emotional sensitivity. This is a time to focus on personal connections, home life and self-care. Cancer's influence encourages us to embrace our feelings and prioritize our emotional well-being. The Sun's conjunction with Betelgeuse in the Orion constellation highlights profound insights and transformative energy. Betelgeuse's influence brings a sense of magic and powerful transformation, urging us to integrate our light and shadow sides for personal growth. Mercury and Venus in Cancer enhance communication and relationships with a nurturing touch. After the recent Cassini with the Sun, Venus at the beginning of June and Mercury in the middle of the month, they started a new cycle. And these planets encourage, har encourage heartfelt expressions, compassionate interactions and creative endeavors rooted in emotional depth. Neptune's square to the Sun challenges us to balance idealism with practicality. It's a call to navigate our dreams and aspirations with a grounded approach. Meanwhile, the sextile between Neptune and retrograde Pluto supports deep psychological insights and transformative growth, particularly in areas where we need to release old patterns and embrace new potential. Now let's have a look at the Orion Galactic Heritage Cards from the present timeline. They offer profound insights into a spiritual and transformative journey of the Orion civilization. Each card embodies a unique aspect of their evolution 
reflecting their struggles and triumphs as they navigated intense polarity and soul integration. Whenever two forces collide within us, it creates a process of fusion that releases an intense energy for manifestation. This is the basis of what we call magic, the fusion of two opposite energies that are harnessed and directed in a desired way. This way it is important to embrace both our shadow and light sides within us. We then create magical transformation. This card highlights the dramatic healing process in Orion, where deeply paralyzed energies fused to create transformative power. It symbolizes the magical transformation that occurs when we embrace both our shadow and light sides, leading to profound manifestation and social change. This card asks you to not fear the purging process, because it is an essential part of transformation. In fact, seek it out. It is time to let go of some ancient patterns that you have carried for lifetimes. As they release, know that the purge is a good sign of healing. This card speaks to the essential process of purging old, toxic energy during healing. It reflects the rapid detoxification Orion underwent as they integrated polarity, a process that is also occurring on Earth. The card encourages us to embrace the chaos and pain as signs of profound transformation and to release ancient patterns for true healing. For thousands of years, humans have been used to living with the mindset of polarity. We continually label things good or bad. If we don't know how to label something, we feel confused or insecure. But now that it is time to integrate polarity and transform as a species, we must take a leap of faith. Jumping off the cliff into the unknown to a realm where labels like that don't exist. We must learn to simply be with things as they are, without addiction to labeling them. This card reminds us of the necessity of trusting the unknown to achieve transformation. Just as the Orions had to leap into the unknown to heal their polarized society, we too must take bold steps without clear visibility trusting our intuition and inner guidance to navigate change. Each time we engage in a habit or thought pattern, it grows stronger. We eventually crave the fulfillment of the habit like a drug. The thought of fulfilling that habit acts like a seduction for the ego. It must engage in this behavior pattern in order to feel normal. This is true for our addiction to polarity, judgment and categorization. This card addresses the addictive nature of polarized thought and judgment. It reflects Orion's journey to overcome deeply ingrained patterns of duality, urging us to resist the seductive pull of these habits to achieve higher consciousness and true freedom. These themes provide a rich tapestry of guidance as we explore the astrological impacts of the June solstice and its conjunction with Betelgeuse in the Orion constellation. By understanding the wisdom of Orion cards, we can better navigate the transformative energies of this celestial event and apply these lessons to our personal growth and spiritual journey. Each sign will experience these transits uniquely, reflecting the diverse ways we connect with the cosmos. Using the whole sign system, we will look at the cosmic shifts through the lens of your ascendant, also called rising sign diving into how this event will apply to specific areas of your life. 
You can also listen to your sun sign or the moon sign, especially if you were born at night. So we start with Aries. And sun in Cancer enters your fourth house. The fourth house governs home, family, roots, emotional foundations, and inner security. With the sun here during the June solstice, Aries ascendants are focused on matters related to home, life, family, dynamics, and their emotional well-being. Cancer's influence adds a nurturing and protective quality to these areas, emphasizing the need for emotional security and connection with family members. The insights from Orion cards go as follows. Aries are encouraged to integrate polarities with their family dynamics and emotional foundations. This integration can lead to profound personal growth and transformative insights in their domestic life. The purging of old energies resonates deeply with Aries' quest for emotional security and stability. This period invites them to release outdated family dynamics or emotional patterns for personal evolution. Aries is urged to trust their intuitive insights and take courageous steps in nurturing family relationships or creating a supportive home environment, embracing new opportunities for emotional growth. But it's crucial for you, Aries, to resist the seduction of familiar conflicts or emotional baggage. By fostering open communication and nurturing connections, you can enhance your family bonds and personal growth. And here are a few practical ways to integrate those energies. Utilize the nurturing energy of the fourth house to strengthen emotional bonds with family members and create a supportive home environment. Focus on activities that foster a sense of belonging and emotional fulfillment. Take advantage of Mercury and Venus in Cancer to express love and appreciation within family. Engage in heartfelt conversations and activities that promote emotional closeness. Neptune's square to the Sun challenges Aries to balance idealism with practicality in their domestic life. Stay grounded in realistic expectations while nurturing emotional connections with family members. Foster a sense of emotional security and stability within yourself and your home environment. Practice self-care and create a peaceful sanctuary where you can recharge and find inner peace. During Neptune's square to the sun, rely on your intuition to navigate family dynamics and emotional challenges. Practice mindfulness to maintain clarity and emotional balance. By aligning with these insights and astrological influences, Aries can navigate the June sources with a focus on emotional depth, family connections, and personal growth within their home environment. This period offers opportunities for profound healing and transformation through nurturing relationships and creating a supportive emotional foundation. So, for Taurus rising, um, Cancer enters your third house which governs communication, learning, local environment, and siblings. With the sun here during the June solstice, um, you are focused on intellectual pursuits, communication skills, and interactions within your immediate community. Cancer's influence adds emotional depth and sensitivity to these areas, fostering nurturing connections and heartfelt conversations. Taurus are encouraged to integrate polarities within their communication style and learning process. 
This integration can lead to profound personal growth and transformative insights in their immediate environment. The purging of old energies resonates deeply with Taurus's quest for emotional security and practical understanding. This period invites you to release outdated beliefs or communication patterns for personal evolution. Taurus is urged to trust their intuitive insights and take courageous steps in communication or learning endeavors, embracing new opportunities for growth and intellectual exploration. It's crucial for Taurus to resist the seduction of limiting beliefs or habitual communication patterns. By embracing authenticity and openness, they can enhance their local interactions and personal growth. And here are the few practical ways that can help you integrate those energies. Utilize the nurturing energy of the third house to improve communication with siblings, neighbors, or within your local community. Engage in conversations that foster emotional connection and mutual understanding. Take advantage of Mercury in Venus and Venus in Cancer to explore new subjects or engage in creative writing, storytelling or local cultural activities that resonate with your emotions. Neptune's square to the Sun challenges Taurus to balance idealism with practicality in their intellectual pursuits. Stay grounded in realistic goals while remaining open to intuitive insights. Foster meaningful relationships with siblings, neighbors or local groups. Participate in community projects or initiatives that promote emotional connection and support. During Neptune Square to the Sun, rely on your intuition to navigate challenges in communication or learning. Practice mindfulness to avoid idealistic pitfalls and foster clear, heartfelt expression. By aligning with these insights and astrological influences, you can navigate the June solstice with clarity, emotional depth, and commitment to personal growth in communication, learning, and local in interactions. This period offers opportunities for profound healing and transformation through embracing authenticity and nurturing connections within your immediate environment. And for Gemini rising, the sun uh, is entering the second house, which governs personal finances, values, possessions, self-worth and material resources. With the sun here during the June solstice, Gemini Ascendants are focused on matters related uh, to their financial stability, values, materials, and material security. Cancer's influence adds a nurturing and protective quality to these areas, emphasizing the need for emotional satisfaction and security in financial matters. Gemini Ascendants are encouraged to integrate polarities within their approach to finances and values. This integration can lead to profound personal growth and transformative insights in how they manage and perceive material resources. The purging of old energies resonates deeply with Gemini's quest for financial stability and self-worth. This period invites them to release outdated financial habits or self-limiting beliefs for personal evolution. Gemini is urged to trust their intuitive insights and take proactive steps in managing finances or re-evaluating personal values, embracing new opportunities for financial growth and personal development. It's crucial for you to resist the seduction of materialistic desires or financial insecurities. By fostering a balanced approach and nurturing financial health, you can enhance your self-worth and material stability. And few practical 
um, ways I prepared for you to integrate uh, this energies more are utilize the nurturing energy of the second house to assess and plan your finances focus on budgeting saving and investing wisely to enhance your financial security take advantage of mercury and venus in cancer to reflect on your personal values and priorities engage in conversations that align with your emotional needs and enhance your sense of self-worth. Neptune square to the sun challenges Gemini to balance idealistic aspirations with practical financial decisions. Stay grounded in realistic goals while nurturing a healthy relationship with money. Foster a sense of material security and self-worth through responsible financial management and prudent investments. Seek opportunities to enhance your financial literacy and stability. And during Neptune's square to the sun, rely on your intuition to make sound financial decisions and align with your true values. Practice mindfulness to maintain clarity and financial balance. By aligning with these insights, and astrological influences, Gemini, you can navigate the June solstice with focus on financial stability, personal values, and practical growth in managing your material resources. This period offers opportunities for profound healing and transformation through nurturing financial health and aligning personal values with emotional satisfaction. And next we move to Cancer, mm, and here the Sun enters your first house, which governs the self, identity, physical body, appearance, and personal goals. With the Sun here, Cancer Ascendants are focused on matters related to self-expression, personal identity, and their physical presence in the world. Cancer influence adds a nurturing and protective quality to these areas, emphasizing the need for self-care, emotional authenticity, and nurturing one's own identity. Cancer ascendants are encouraged to integrate polarities within their self-concept and personal goals. This integration can lead to profound personal growth and transformative insights in how they present themselves authentically to the world. The purging of old energies resonates deeply with Cancer's quest for emotional authenticity and self-expression. This period invites you to release outdated self-image issues or limiting beliefs for personal evolution. You are urged to trust your in intuitive insights and take proactive steps in pursuing personal goals, goals or embracing new aspects of your identity, embracing new opportunities for personal growth and self-discovery. But it's crucial that you resist the seduction of self-doubt or emotional insecurities by fostering, fostering self-care and nurturing your authentic, authentic self, you can enhance your self-esteem and personal fulfillment. More practical ways of integrating um, these energies. Utilize the nurturing energy of the first house to express your true self authentically. Focus on activities and projects that reflect your personal identity and nurture your emotional well-being. Take advantage of Mercury and Venus in Cancer to set new personal goals and pursue creative outlets. Engage in activities that enhance your physical appearance and promote self-confidence. Neptune square to the sun challenges you to balance idealistic uh, aspirations with practical self-expression. 
Stay true to your emotional needs while exploring new facets of your identity. Foster a sense of emotional authenticity and self-nurturing through self-care practices and positive affirmations. Prioritize your well-being and cultivate a healthy relationship with yourself. During Neptune's square to the sun, rely on your intuition to guide your personal journey and align with your true self. Practice mindfulness to maintain clarity and emotional balance. By aligning with these insights and astrological influences, Cancer Ascendants can navigate the June solstice with a focus on self-discovery, personal expression, and nurturing their authentic identity. This period offers opportunities for profound healing and transformation through embracing emotional authenticity and enhancing personal fulfillment. For Leo Rising, the Sun enters your 12th house. And the 12th house governs spirituality, subconscious mind, hidden strength, solitude, and endings. With the sun here, you are focused on matters related to introspection, spiritual growth, and subconscious exploration. With Cancer's influence, uh, adding a nurturing and emotional depth to these areas, emphasizing the need for inner reflection, emotional healing, and connecting with the subconscious mind. Leos are encouraged to integrate polarities within their spiritual practices and subconscious exploration. This integration can lead to profound personal growth and transformative insights in their inner journey. Purging of old energies resonates deeply with Leo's quest for spiritual connection and inner healing. This period invites you to release outdated subconscious patterns or emotional baggage for personal evolution. Leo is urged to trust their intuitive insights and embrace spiritual growth or engage in introspective practices embracing new opportunities for inner healing and spiritual enlightenment. However, it's crucial for you, Leo, to resist the seduction of escapism or spiritual bypassing. By fostering authentic spiritual practices and facing subconscious challenges, you can enhance your spiritual connection and inner peace. Few more practical ways that you can integrate those energies. Utilize the introspective energy of the 12th house to explore spiritual practices and connect with your subconscious mind. Focus on meditation, dream work or spiritual retreats to deepen your spiritual connection. Take advantage of Mercury and Venus in Cancer to engage in quiet introspection and emotional healing. Create a peaceful sanctuary where you can reflect and recharge spiritually. Neptune's square to the Sun challenges you to balance idealistic spiritual goals with practical introspective activities. Stay grounded in realistic spiritual practices while exploring deep subconscious themes. Foster a sense of spiritual peace and emotional healing through introspective practices and self-compassion. Seek opportunities to release emotional baggage and connect with your inner wisdom. During Neptune's square to the sun, rely on your intuition to guide your spiritual journey and inner healing. Practice mindfulness to maintain clarity and spiritual balance. By aligning with these insights and astrological influences, Leo, you can navigate the June Saltis with focus on spiritual growth, introspection and subconscious healing. This period offers opportunities for profound spiritual insights and transformative inner peace through embracing introspective practices and nurturing your spiritual connection. 
Virgo, Sun enters the 11th house, which governs friendships, social networks, group associations, humanitarian causes, and long-term goals. With the Sun here, you are focused on matters related to your social connections, aspirations, and contributions to larger groups or communities. Cancer's influence adds a nurturing and supportive quality to these areas, emphasizing the need for emotional fulfillment, supportive friendships, and involvement in meaningful causes. Virgo, you are encouraged to integrate polarities within your social relationships and aspirations. This integration can lead to profound personal growth and transformative insights in your involvement with groups or communities. The purging of old energies resonates deeply with your quest for meaningful connections and contribution to society. The period invites you to release outdated social roles or aspirations for personal evolution. Virgo is urged to trust their intuitive insights and actively participate in social causes or group activities. Embracing new opportunities for collective growth and hum humanitarian endeavors. However, it's crucial for you, Virgo, to resist the seduction of perfectionism or overanalyzing social interactions by fostering genuine connections and contributing to meaningful causes. You can enhance your sense of fulfillment and social impact. And here are a few practical ways that can help you um, integrate those energies more. Utilize the nurturing energy of the 11th house to engage in community activities, group projects, or humanitarian causes. Focus on networking and building supportive friendships that align with your values. Take advantage of Mercury and Venus in Cancer to clarify your aspirations and contribute creatively to group dynamics. Define realistic goals that reflect your desire for social impact and personal growth. Neptune's square to the Sun challenges you, Virgo, to balance idealistic visions with practical contributions within social circles. Stay grounded in realistic expectations while nurturing genuine connections. Foster a sense of emotional fulfillment and social contribution through active participation in group activities and supportive friendships. Seek opportunities to collab collaborate and make a positive impact. And during Neptune's square to the sun, rely on your intuition to guide you, uh, to guide your social interactions and involvement in community affairs. Practice empathy and mindfulness to maintain harmony within group dynamics. By aligning with these insights and astrological influences, Virgo can navigate the June solstice with focus on social connections, humanitarian efforts, and long-term goals within your community. This period offers opportunities for profound social insights and transformative growth through nurturing meaningful relationships and co contributing to collective well-being. And for your Libra, Sun will enter the 10th house, which governs career, public reputation, social status, authority figures, and life path. With the Sun here during the June solstice, Libra, you will uh, focus on matters related to your career, professional ambitions, and public image. Cancer's influence adds a nurturing and emotional depth to these areas, emphasizing the need for emotional fulfillment, caring, caring leadership and supportive reputation. Libra ascendants are encouraged to integrate polarities within their career path and public image. This integration can lead to profound personal growth and transformative insights in how they approach their personal professional life. 
the purging of old energies resonates deeply with Libra's quest for a meaningful career and public recognition. This period invites you to release outdated professional roles or limiting beliefs for personal evolution. Libra, you are urged to trust your intuition, insights and take the decisive steps in your career or public roles, embracing new opportunities for prof professional growth and leadership. However, it's crucial for you to resist the seduction of approval-seeking or over-idealizing professional success. By fostering authentic leadership and pursuing meaningful career goals, the, you can enhance your professional reputation and personal fulfillment. Some more practical uh, ways to integrate those energies. Utilize the nurturing energy of the 10th house to advance in your career. Pursue leadership roles and enhance your public reputation. Focus on setting goals that align with your emotional needs and values. Take advantage of Mercury and Venus in Cancer to network effectively, communicate diplomatically and foster up supportive relationships with authority figures. Cultivate a nurturing professional environment. Neptune's square to the sun challenges Libra to balance idealistic visions with practical achievements in your career path. So stay grounded in realistic goals while nurturing a caring leadership style. Foster a sense of emotional fulfillment and career success through dedication to your professional path and contribution to society. Seek opportunities to lead with empathy and integrity. During Neptune's square to the sun, rely on your intuition to guide your career decisions and public image. Practice authenticity and mindfulness to maintain professional integrity and personal satisfaction. By aligning with these insights and astrological influences, Libra, you can navigate the June solstice with a focus on career advancement, public recognition and personal fulfillment in your professional life. This period offers opportunities for profound career insights and transformative growth through nurturing leadership qualities and pursuing meaningful contributions to your field. So, for you, Scorpio, Sun will enter the ninth house, which governs higher education, philosophy, beliefs, spirituality, foreign travel, and expansion of horizons. With the Sun here, you can focus on matters related to philosophical beliefs, higher learnings, spiritual pursuits, and long-distance travel. Cancer's influence adds nurturing and emotional depth to these areas, emphasizing the need for emotional fulfillment through spiritual exploration and expansion of knowledge. Scorpios, you are encouraged to integrate polarities within your belief system and spiritual practices. This integration can lead to profound personal growth and transformative insights in your quest for higher knowledge and spiritual enlightenment. The purging of old energies resonates deeply with Scorpio's quest for deeper truth and spiritual understanding. This period invites you to release outdated belief systems or cultural biases for personal evolution. Scorpio, you are urged to trust your intuitive insights and embark on spiritual journeys or educational pursuits that align with your higher purpose. Embrace new opportunities for intellectual growth and spiritual awakening. But it's crucial for you to resist the seduction of dogma or rigid belief systems. By exploring diverse perspectives and embracing spiritual growth, you can deepen your spiritual connection and broaden your horizon. 
And here are some more practical ways to integrate those energies. Utilize the nurturing energy of the ninth house to expand your knowledge through higher education, philosophical studies, or spiritual practices. Engage in cultural exchanges and broader your perspectives. Take advantage of Mercury and Venus in Cancer to explore spiritual teachings, engage in philosophical discussions, and express your beliefs with compassion. Cultivate and nurturing spiritual practice. Neptune square to the sun challenges Scorpio to balance idealistic beliefs with practical wisdom. Stay grounded in your spiritual pursuits while exploring new avenues for personal and intellectual growth. Foster a sense of emotional fulfillment and spiritual connection through cultural exploration and educational pursuits. Seek opportunities to learn from diverse perspectives and embrace global unity. During Neptune square to the sun, rely on your intuition to guide your spiritual and intellectual journeys. Practice mindfulness and openness to new experiences to deepen your spiritual understanding. These insights and astrological influences can help you navigate the June solstice with a focus on spiritual growth, intellectual expansion and cultural exploration. This time offers opportunities for profound insights and transformative growth, nurturing your beliefs, expanding your horizons and embracing your higher purpose in life. For Sagittarius, a sun in Cancer enters your 8th house and this house is associated with transformation, shared resources, intimacy and deep psychological insight. With the sun here during the June solstice, Sagittarius, you are drawn towards introspection, personal evolution, and matters related to shared finances or resources. Cancer's influence adds emotional depth and nurturing qualities to these transformative processes. Sagittarians are encouraged to integrate polarities within themselves, particularly in areas related to shared resources or intimate relationships. This integration can lead to profound personal transformation and manifestation of desires. However, the purging of old energies resonates deeply with Sagittarians' quest for truth and higher meaning especially in the context of deep emotional and psychological healing. Sagittarians are urged to trust their intuition and take leap of, leaps of faith in matters related to joint finances or intimate connections, embracing new opportunities for growth and transformation. But it's crucial that you resist seduction of limiting beliefs or addictive patterns in your intimate relationships or financial dealings, allowing for greater authenticity and freedom. Some more practical ways to integrate the June Solstice energy. Utilize the transformative energy of the 8th house to deepen emotional bonds with intimate patterns or explore joint financial ventures. Engage in honest communication and shared vulnerability. Take advantage of the Sun's presence in the 8th house and Neptune's sextile to Pluto. Engage in deep inner healing work. Address emotional wounds or past traumas for profound personal growth. Neptune's influence encourages Sagittarians to explore spiritual or mystical pursuits that enhance their understanding of shared resources, intimacy, and transfer transformational processes. Mercury and Venus in Cancer support discussions and decisions regarding joint finances, 
approach these matters with sensitivity and nurturing mindset. During Neptune's square to the Sun, rely on your intuition to navigate complexities in shared resources or intimate relationships. Practice mindfulness to avoid idealistic pitfalls. By aligning with these insights and astrological influences, Sagittarians, you can navigate the June solstice with courage, wisdom and commitment to deep transformation in areas of intimacy, shared resources and personal growth. This time offers opportunities for profound healing and empowerment through embracing vulnerability and authenticity. For Capricorn Ascendants, Sun uh, enters the seventh house and this house governs partnership, relationships, marriage, open enemies and significant others. Cancer's influence adds nurturing and emotional depth to these areas, emphasizing the need for emotional fulfillment through close bonds, supportive partnerships and harmonious relationships. Capricorn Ascendants are encouraged to integrate polarities within their relationships and partnerships. This integration can lead to profound personal growth and transformative insights in their interactions with others. The purging of old energies resonates deeply with Capricorn's quest for stable and supportive relationships. This time invites them to release outdated relationships patterns or emotional barriers for personal evolution. Capricorns are urged to trust their intuitive insights and deepen their commitment in relationships or partnerships. Embrace new opportunities for emotional connection and mutual growth. However, it's crucial for you to resist the seduction of control or rigidity in relationships by fostering trust and vulnerability, you can enhance your emotional bonds and achieve greater harmony in partnerships. More ways to integrate those energies. Utilize the nurturing energy of the seventh house to straighten your partnerships, cultivate harmonious relationships, and resolve conflicts with empathy. Focus on building mutual trust and emotional support. Take advantage of Mercury and Venus in Cancer to express your feelings, negotiate with sensitivity, and deepen emotional intimacy in relationships. Foster open dialogue and listen attentively to others. Neptune's square to the Sun challenges Capricorn to balance idealistic visions with practical realities in partnerships. Stay grounded in your expectations while nurturing genuine connections. Foster a sense of emotional fulfillment and mutual understanding through committed relationships and collaborative efforts. Seek opportunities to compromise and build shared goals. During Neptune's square to the Sun, rely on your intuition to guide your relationship decisions and partnership dynamics. Practice patience and empathy to maintain harmony and strengthen bonds. By aligning with these insights and astrological influences, Capricorn can navigate the June solstice with focus on relationships, harmony, emotional fulfillment and mutual growth in partnerships. This time offers opportunities for profound insights and transformative growth through nurturing your relationships, fostering trust and deepening your emotional connection with others. Aquarius Sun in Cancer enters your sixth house the house that governs daily work routines, health, service to others, routines and responsibilities. With the sun here during the June solstice, you are focused on matters related to your work environment and daily responsibilities. 
Cancer's influence adds a nurturing and caring approach to these areas, emphasizing the need for emotional fulfillment through service to others and maintaining well-being. Aquarius ascendants are encouraged to integrate polarities within their daily routines and serve service to others. This integration can lead to profound personal growth and transformative insights in your approach to work and health. The purging of old energies resonates deeply with Aquarius' quest for efficiency and well-being. This time invites you to release outdated habits or responsibilities for personal evolution. You are urged to trust your intuitive insights and make necessary changes in your daily routines or health practices. Embrace new opportunities for self-improvement and holistic well-being. But it's crucial for you, Aquarius, to resist the seduction of detachment or aloofness in your daily life. By fostering practical care and responsibility, you can enhance your productivity and personal fulfillment. Some more practical ways to enhance this, um, to integrate, sorry, <laughs> those energies more is to utilize the nurturing energy of the sixth house to improve your daily habits, streamline workflows and prioritize tasks effectively. Focus on maintaining emotional balance and well-being. Take advantage of Mercury and Venus in Cancer to focus on self-care, nutrition and emotional health. Cultivate nurturing habits that support your physical and mental well-being. Neptune's square to the Sun challenges Aquarius to balance idealistic goals with practical responsibilities at work. Stay grounded in your approach while fostering a caring and supportive work environment. Foster a sense of emotional fulfillment and service to others through volunteer work, mentoring or helping colleagues. Seek opportunities to contribute positively to your community or workplace. And during Neptune's square to the sun, rely on your intuition to guide your daily decisions and health practices. Practice mindfulness and empathy to maintain balance and enhance productivity. By aligning with these insights and astrological influences, you will navigate June solstice with focus on improving daily routines, enhancing health practices and fostering a caring approach to work and service. This time offers opportunities for profound insights and transformative growth. Through nurturing your daily responsibilities, fostering efficiency and enhancing your well-being. Pisces Sun in Cancer is entering your fifth house which governs creativity, self-expression, children, romance, hobbies and joy. Cancer's influence adds nurturing and emotional depth to these areas, emphasizing the need for emotional fulfillment through creative self-expression and heartfelt connections. Pisces, you are encouraged to integrate polarities within your creative pursuits and romantic relationships. This integration can lead to profound personal growth and transformative insights in your approach to joy and self-expression. The purging of old energies resonates deeply with Pisces' quest for artistic fulfillment and emotional connection. This spirit would invites you to release outdated creative blocks or romantic patterns for personal evolution. Pisces are urged to trust their intuitive insights and embrace new opportunities for creativity and romance. Dive into artistic projects or love affairs with a sense of adventure and openness. It's crucial for you, Pisces, to resist the seduction of escapism or ide idealized love in your creative and romantic pursuits. 
By embracing authenticity and emotional depth, you can enhance your artistic endeavors and deepen your relationships. And other practical ways to uh, integrate those energies. Utilize the nurturing energy of the fifth house to explore artistic talents. Engage in creative projects to express yourself authentically. Focus on activities that bring you joy and emotional satisfaction. Take advantage of Mercury and Venus in Cancer to nurture romantic relationships, express affection and deepen emotional connections. Foster love and harmony in your personal life. Neptune square to the sun challenges Pisces to balance idealistic visions with practical achievements in hobbies and creative pursuits. Stay grounded while exploring imaginative and fulfilling activities. Foster a sense of emotional fulfillment and playfulness through hobbies, leisure, activities and time spent with loved ones. Seek opportunities to experience joy and express yourself creatively. During Neptune's square to the sun, rely on your intuition to guide your creative projects and romantic interactions. Practice mindfulness and emotional sensitivity to enhance artistic expression and deepen relationships. By aligning with these insights and astrological influences, Pisces can navigate the June solstice with a focus on creative fulfillment, romantic joy and emotional expression. This period offers opportunities for profound insights and transformative growth. Through nurturing your artistic talents, fostering meaningful connections and embracing the beauty of self-expression and love. Thank you for joining me on this journey of exploring the powerful June solstice and its profound influence through the lens of the Orion civilization's wisdom. As we've discussed, this celestial event offers an incredible opportunity to harness the transformative energies of the sun's conjunction with Betelgeuse. The Orions teach us about the importance of balance, healing, courage and self-awareness. Remember, this solstice marks a pivotal moment to realign with your true path, shed outdated patterns and embrace new beginnings with confidence and trust. Whether you're experiencing these shifts in your relationships, career, health or personal growth, know that the energies of the cosmos and the wisdom of the Orions are supporting you every step of the way. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more insights or guidance. Feel free to leave your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. I love hearing from you and building this beautiful supportive community together. Until next time, stay connected to your inner light and trust the journey. The universe has magnificent plans for you and if you need further information or have specific questions about your personal chart, don't hesitate to reach out for personalized reading. I'm here to support you on your path to self-discovery and empowerment. Namaste and may the stars guide your way. Bye.